Hello, welcome back to my Alan Bradley PLC test bench. Today we're going to be doing a thing on communication between a laptop using Panel Builder 32 and a Panel View 600. The old panel views have been around for 20 to 30 years and they still work very well and there's hundreds if not thousands if not hundreds of thousands of them in service worldwide. They haven't gone away and they work do exactly what they're supposed to. So we'll get set up here and we'll have a look at the laptop and show you the setup using Panel Builder 32 and RS links and a serial cable. And then we'll also do a quick video after this on how to save to a PCMIA COM card. That is a standard that came in the old panel views. The PCMIA COM cards are about three and a half inches long. And just over two inches in width and barely an eighth of an inch thick. This was a standard for a number of years. Um, they also came in the uh, PCMK card, which uh, was used for direct communication. And we will have another video on those after. So I'll just get swung around here and we'll be right back. Hi, here we are back in the workbench. So let's go have a look at RS links. If we do go into configure drivers, and we go into um, our DF1, which is what we're using. This is set for COM7. Going to slick channel 0, micro, or panel view. And this station number is 0 for the laptop. And you hit auto configure. And it goes through and finds it. It was successful. If it doesn't find it, there's a couple of things that may happen. You may have the wrong serial cable, RS-232 cable. There's two styles, null modem and straight through, I believe it's is called. It has been a number of years since I looked at them. Hit OK. It's there. It's running. We close. We have a look at our Who Active. And there's our panel view 600 and this is a C for control net. That's how old this one is. Okay, so let's go into Panel Builder. Panel Builder 32 has been around for since the 90s I believe or maybe even before that. So we go File and we're going to Upload and upload application to disk, directory, whatever you want it as. I've just got one I call fill. And we're using a transfer type of DF1, which is the RS-232 that we had just set up in links. We hit OK. Goes into another screen. Identifies, holds your file from the panel view onto your computer. And there we are done. So now if we go open, and there's our file, and it's all it's got is one screen with time and date on it and a go to configure screen. Now if you don't have a go to configure screen on your panel view, if you have keypad you press the left and right arrows at the same time and it'll take you into the configuration screen which we'll have a look here in a minute. Okay, so what we want to do is download this to our panel view. So we go File, Download, it goes through, it checks everything, make sure there's no warnings, you know, uh, buttons overlapping each other, text overlapping, whatever. And we pick our panel view. Yeah, you, you have to highlight it and hit. And we're using RS Links Network, which we already have set up because there it is. 
and hit OK. And on the panel view, hopefully you can see this. There it is. Once it's verified, it does a reboot and goes into run mode. So if we just swing over here a little bit and here it is trying to And there's our, our, our front screen. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we have a PCMIA communication card. And it says up, but that's a relative term. So what we want to do is if either in this case we just press F8 or you hit your left and right arrow at the same time and it takes you into the configuration screen. Now this trick also works on the newest, latest and greatest panel views in Panel View Plus 7 and 6 as long as you've got the arrows to work with. So what we want to do is memory card and there's nothing in there. We put it in, in this case it's got the little notches here and I'll just flip this over and the notches in this case really hard to see I know um, push it and seat it if it doesn't seat that easily you know you've got it backwards okay so let's have a look here cables on the bottom it makes it a little difficult okay so in this case F1 memory card listening CNET panel V6 and we want to uh, restore from card or save to card and you can also erase and disconnect so in this case we want to save to card so F3 the file exists there in this case we're just going to say fine. Only one screen so it doesn't take very long. It verifies it. So and there's our only in if there's more than one program which you can save multiple programs on these cards you just step through using F1 and it'll, it says panel V1, panel V6. Okay so now we want to restore from card continue it takes it from the card puts it into the panel view memory and reboots and that's uh, it'll come up in the run screen let's get that turned around a little bit sorry for the uh, reflection but unfortunately we all know what overhead lights are like there we go and then we're back into run mode. So that's as easy as that is and um, not really a lot more I can show you on this. It's really quite easy once you've done it once or twice. Um, if we go back to the to our uh, computer here um, the Panel Builder 32 software is not something I'm going to try and teach you today because that's a whole long video that takes hours. Um, so there we go. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, ring the bell if you want, and uh, thank you for very much for being here.